following up on last night's news of uh, this new Star Trek global franchise group being put, you know, put together by CBS. Again, I'm trying to you know, be a little cockeyed optimist here, but I think this is CBS trying to get control of the franchise back from Alex Kurtzman. Because remember, back you know, when the, he first his, his contract, he was the grand poobah. He was going to call all the shots for Star Trek franchise going forward. What have we seen since then? Besides the obvious, the fact that the, the whole franchise is falling apart because uh, Discovery sucks, and the Picard show apparently is, you know, <clears throat> misguided, and nothing else. Is, you know, and then we got some very strangely ide strange ideas for animated shows. And I'm th <clears throat> I mean, I, I sent a tweet to uh, Rod Roddenberry and said, "Don't you?" Or I, I, tagged him in a thing, doesn't doesn't he have any veto power over this crap? You know, this is his family's legacy they're trashing, you know? But, again, I think this is, and I, a similar thing like with uh, Disney and Star Wars, to try, you know, because they got, they got contracts they got to honor, but there's a way of honoring a contract and undermining it at the same time. In the case of Star Wars, I think it's, you know, they're, because they're not, Apparently, they're not talking to Kathleen Kennedy. She didn't know anything about uh, Leia being in the uh, last jet or uh, the next one coming up, whatever. And they are. I'm, there's not. I'm not seeing much of a push on the Skywalker thing, but, but I think what's going on here because they they did a big to do about uh, the the Mandalorian, the fact that they brought back the Clone Wars. That that was Dave Filoni's baby, and so was the uh, Mandalorian. So I think they're figuring. Yeah, Kathleen, Kathy's got three years in a contract. At that time, she's either let go or maybe just taken out of the creative control area. And Dave Filoni slid in there, and he and he gets you know creative control over the franchise, which would be fantastic for all concerned. Now back to Star Trek, though. I think we are seeing because they're. The first sign was John Van Sitters because he's had experience with the with the uh, with uh, the franchise prior to this. He was the he was their front guy for you know a lot of, you know, for you know he, when they did the film guide the fan film guidelines. He was the guy they trotted out to try and sell it to him and say, hey, it's not that bad. It's even better than what Lucasfilm has. You know, you should look at their restrictions sometime. So. He is one of these well-placed fans. He, you know, he knows the stuff. He, you know, so all accounts are, and that's, you know, that was kind of the beginning of the. Okay, they're starting to pull it away from out the scrubby little hands, and this one apparently now with this Veronica Hart gal you know, being in charge of the whole thing. Then she is now in charge of expanding. They, they, they did it. Star Trek's own little group within CBS, and she and and they answer to the head of CBS Television, not to not to Kurtzman. And basically, I think they, this is their quiet little way of saying, okay, we screwed up. We're going to take back control here. <laughs> let the Kurtzman go back to his corner. Let him think he's in charge of something, but don't let him know that nothing's happening. Because it's going to be interesting what happens with a, if there's any blowback that becomes public about him deciding to start shooting stuff for Picard on his own without authorization from, uh, from the network. Because that's, that's a big deal, okay? Because ultimately, it's it's network money that he's spending on these things. Unless he's cutting the check himself. Who knows? But just to say that they're in production. A lot of times there's little contractual obligations here. That, you know, unless they're in production at a certain date, then certain things fall apart. So there may have been that part. It could be a lot of different things. It could also be just largely ego. But, but yeah, the, thing, the, fact, also the fact that this... Global franchise, their main, you know, focus is licensing, product, you know, you know st approval and stuff. So again, the answer to the question of how important is licensing? It is vitally important nowadays. It's because it's a big deal. Why do you think movies now cost, you know, 
like two hundred, you know, two hundred million dollars. I mean, that was unheard of just like you know thirty years ago. No one in their right mind would go that high on a movie budget because all they're relying on is the box office take. But once secondary stuff, you know, licensing, you know, toys, DVD sales, now suddenly they're free to spend a hell of a lot more money because they know they won't make it the box office, but they'll make it up on the back end with all the merchandising sales. So that's, you know, kind of the monster that George Lucas created in that respect. So yeah, the whole thing. Is it really important? Yeah, it is. They're forming an entire new group just for the licensing. It's no longer the matter of CBS. Now they have their own damn group. It's the Star Trek global franchise group. That is, that's all they do. And then one of the guys is in charge of content. Yeah. And I'm inclined to believe they got actual fans who know what they're doing instead of a bunch of sycophants that are you know just saying, yes, Mr. Kurtzman, whatever you want. Because, you know? again, they don't answer to Kurtzman. So, yeah, there's reason to be hopeful here. Things are starting to turn. And Doctor Who is the one question mark, but anyway, again, that's... One good regeneration or a change in showrunner, and that problem solves itself. And just ignore the Jody Whittaker years. I'm still shocked, frankly, that Chibnall's drew the pooch that badly in this thing. Ugh, God. You never know. I'm sure he's had that footage of, him, of himself at that 16, you know, 87. Shut down the story. Yes, I know. I was a dolt. Okay. <laughs> All right. And. So let's let's not give up the ship yet just yet. Yes, like Doomcock says, stay angry, but let's not get you know let's not get nuts. Things I think are starting to turn in our favor. That means we but it also means we need to keep up the pressure. Because if they start thinking, oh they're happy now, they'll let off. No, we need to keep at it. Anyway, uh Still needing help there because it's you know the monetization is, is slow and getting back up and running there and I, I won't see that money for a while anyway even if you know, I get even if this thing goes viral so PayPal Patreon down below and we'll talk at you later. So.